take a closer look now um, for you at a deadly conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia that is putting civilians in danger and threatening the stability of the region. It is all about the breakaway territory of Nagorno-Karabakh. It's internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but ethnic Armenians run the show there. And nearly three decades of hatred now sparking new violence. And that has got Washington, Moscow and Paris doing a rare thing, showing agreement. They are all condemning what they are calling the dangerous escalation of violence in and around what is this disputed zone. Despite appeals for a ceasefire, there are reports of renewed fighting. And Azerbaijan's defence ministry at least has ordered its military to destroy what they call enemy forces. Well, the fighting is said to be so vicious that Amnesty International is accusing Azerbaijan of using cluster bombs in civilian areas, an accusation which Azerbaijan denies. Well, the Armenian president tells me this latest flare-up has killed hundreds of people on both sides. He talked to me at length this week about the current conflict and why he sees Turkey as a bad actor. Have a listen. This conflict is dramatically different from the pre previous clashes where it was happening between uh, Azerbaijan and Nagorno-Karabakh supported by Armenia. But it is happening with the support and open support of Turkey. Turkey through its military officers, generals, mercenaries, terroristic uh, jihadists that were brought in thousands to, to Azerbaijan to fight uh, Nagorno-Karabakh and Turkey with its military might, pretending okay. that they're there in order to protect some international logistic structures. We will get to Turkey in a moment. I just want to establish what is going on. Have a listen to what Azerbaijan's president had to say just yesterday. Azerbaijan will not allow anyone to conquer Nagorno-Karabakh. Nagorno-Karabakh is Azari territory. We must return and we will return. My last... He says Azerbaijan will not cease military action until you have set a timetable for withdrawing troops. Are you willing to do that, sir? Well, uh, I, I think, first of all, first of all, I think addressing it to the Republic of Armenia is a wrong appeal because they have to appeal to the Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh, which is, or Artsakh as we call it, because their dispute is with these people. This is not about uh, Armenia occupying a territory. This is a territory that even under Soviet rule, the absolute majority, I mean 95 percent of population were Armenians because they are living there for, for thousands okay. of years. How can anybody occupy a territory that you are living for thousands of years? Why Sorry, sir, can I, can I just interrupt you for a moment? Azerbaijan's well, Ministry of, of Defence said radar systems recorded the launch of rockets uh, at Azerbaijan from starting positions in Jermuk, in Gafan, and the bad regions of Armenia. How do you explain this, sir? This is, this is a fake news sort of a short answer. Your Prime Minister spoke with the U.S. National Security Advisor, Robert O'Brien, on Thursday, as I understand it, about Turkey's role in the intensifying conflict. What was the outcome of that call? And is the U.S. offering any support? Yeah, I've been speaking that, about this to many mm. presidents and, and prime ministers of different countries, asking them to interfere and put pressure on Turkey stop interfering in the region because their interference, interference is taking the conflict uh, an order up mm. in magnitude, in complexity, and also creating something that eventually will become another series of Caucasus. But Caucasus, if it becomes a place, of, a place like Syria, then God help everybody. God help Europe, God help Central Asia. It will affect Every, everybody, including Turkey, Iran, and Russia. So my plea is, if Turkey will be restrained with the help of Russia, United States, and France, then we have a chance of ceasefire, mm. further negotiations, maybe peacekeepers, and then we'll have a chance to go back to the negotiating table, because there is no military solution to this conflict. There can be only peaceful diplomatic solution. I wonder, 
Given that you are looking for support from the US and given that call was made on Thursday, just before Donald Trump announced that he had tested positive for COVID-19, I, I wonder whether you think Washington has its eye off the ball in this conflict. Does that worry you? I don't believe that Washington has its eye off the of what is happening in Caucasus, because this is crucial area. It is about uh, not only just important crossroad of many things, but also supply of energy, humanitarian. It's a vital interest of many states. Have a listen to what Turkey's foreign minister had to say in a press briefing alongside the NATO Secretary General. But everyone, namely NATO, should call for the resolution of this problem under international laws. UN resolutions in Azerbaijan's territorial integrity, Armenia immediately withdrawing from this region. Will that happen? And you have accused Turkey of effectively shipping in Syrian fighters to fight on Azerbaijan's side. What evidence do you have of that, sir? Turkey have to, has to withdraw from Azerbaijan and stop supporting Azerbaijan because it becomes just, a, just another side of the conflict. Is NATO ready to accept that the NATO member is a war against, uh, against Armenia? And on the shipping of Syrian fighters by Turkey to support well, so Azerbaijan, of, uh, so what's your fighters, evidence? The evidence, evidence is open. It's obvious. I mean, it's video recordings, uh, audio recordings, captured people. And of course, they didn't come Just on their finally, own. Just finally, Russia is a close ally. What kind of assistance do you hope Russia can provide at this point? Well, Russia has uh, allied rel relations now, both with Armenia and with Azerbaijan. We're hoping that Russia, as a key member of the Minsk Group co-chairs, will exercise their pressure, first of all, on Turkey. My formula is pretty simple. If we exclude Turkey from this conflict, I mean, militarily, politically, if Russia can put pressure on Turkey, I think it will work. Okay. And I hope it will work and we'll with, go back to negotiations. With that, we're going to have to leave it. Thank you so much, sir, for joining Thank us. You very much.